swordsman. And I am even more mature than him. And I, my mommy, am slightly better than both of them. And you leave me but one choice. To duel with each one of you until you are laid by the heel. What does that mean, anyway? I think it's French for hung upside down. How would you do that? That doesn't make much sense. Well, it is French. Enough! You cowardly musketeers are dealing with words when you should be dealing with swords. Touché! Hey, no point! I wasn't flying. I was jumping. That was slightly too high for just a jump. In fact, it was a lot more than slightly too high. You know your problem? You just don't like to lose. You're the worst loser in Neverland. How can I be? I never lose. There's always a first time, Darcy Avon, and set tense it is. Voila! Hoity! Bonjour! Francois! Say bon! Say do! Ah, they do! Ah, they do! Now, are you accusing me of cheating? Oh, no one's accusing anyone of cheating. I bet I can beat Darty Allen. On guard! Oh, come on, Wendy, you're spoiling the game. Why? How? I'm just challenging you to a sword fight. But you're a girl. Girls don't have sword fights. I don't believe it. The three musketeers were men. You told us the story. And you can't even get it right. Athlete, porthole, alarmist, and darting Allen, indeed. Their names were Athens, Porthos, Aramis, and D'Artagnan. Well, I prefer our names. We're the Three Musketeers. We're men, you're a girl, and you can't play. Once for all, and all for one. <laughs> Monumental burdens me to be exiled to this wretched atoll, accompanied only by a crew of cretinous sea vermin. Oh, hey, me and the lads, we do our best, sir. I have reached decisions, me. But of the crew, I have made a momentous decision, lad. I have decided to annex this miserable island in the name of his Britannic Majesty. In celebration of this plan, I intend to throw a grand ball of masquerade. A grand, uh, a grand mask ball, you clavodagen lubbock. Then, after, we will abandon this wretched purgatorial archipelago and return to Blighty, where we will be greeted as heroes, and I myself will undoubtedly be dubbed Sir James. But, uh, Peter Panzer, uh, you, you, you swore you'd never leave until his ears dropped. Peter Pan? Chaw! I've discovered after all these years that I care not a fig for the miserable slum galleon. Let him remain in this accursed exile. It will be gore enough for him when Her Majesty renames Neverland the Hook. Archipelago. <laughs> no, Men, prepare for our exodus. A grand ball to which everyone in Neverland, excluding those pre-pubescent tatterdemalions, of course, is invited. Indeed, more than invited. Inform them that attendance will be compulsory. And, and shall I tell them that they have to come too, sir? Alors, pas de tu de jeune et quoi. But remember when I had the Cardigan Richard at the end of my sword? Wasn't that the Cardinal Richelieu? Him too. 
as a two against one it was, or du contre un, as we French heroes prefer. Bonjour, mes amis. Ça va? Ça roule? Yes, that is, we, or no, as the case may be. Permettez-moi de me présenter. Je suis le camp de Chauvin. Ooh, you speak French. Is it not so? But of course. Mais oui. Certainement, un peu, à tout à l'heure. So, uh, who are you? And where are you from? How did you get here? I am the camp de Chauvin. I'm the last survivor of a frigate, a fighting ship of the Imperial French Navy. I washed up on these shores. As to who I am, very simply, the most famous person in the whole of France, monsieur. That's impossible, for I am Dutting Alain, Renaud Swordsman, enemy of the Cardigan Richard. Cardinal Richelieu. And him. And I am Sir Alain Mies. And I am Senor Soto. And I am called Athlete. I have not heard of you. I would have remembered such strange names. Tell me, how did you come by then? I am called Alarmis because I cause alarm in those I fight. And I am called Porthole because I cut portholes in people. And I am called Athlete because I am truly a superb athlete. But I am Dotting Alon, named because my blade yes, dots here, there, and everywhere. I see you are nothing but ill-bred imposters with the manners of wild pigs, and that I must avenge the honor of France. Ha! I could take you blindfolded and with one hand tied behind my back. Very well, monsieur. I take you at your word. You will fight so handicapped. You will regret me sure you cross swords with me, Monsieur Chopin. Not Monsieur, Monsieur, but go and here. And you can count on me for your come up and touché. Keep your place, adieu, monsieur. At once! Un jour en fois, mon ami. Et maintenant, le coup de trao. That cheating! All is fair in love and war, monsieur. You are not worth spoiling my place. You must be a man in all wrong. At your mercy. I'm all right. Leave me alone. Where is he? Where did he go? Who is he? Au revoir, Monsieur Duck Allen. Au revoir. Proceed, men. Continue, Billy Jukes. Keep up the good work. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll soon be done with this, sir. Soon, Billy Jukes. I cannot wait to be free of this accursed island. The lads and I, we know how you feel, sir. But don't be in the ear with a burnt ferret, Captain. We can't believe you'd quit Neverland without Deep Six and Peter Pan. The difference between an intelligent, educated, erudite, mature, philosophizing man, such as I, and an ignorant, illiterate, memory-deficient, insolent, swivel-eyed, knock-kneed, sway-backed, thunder-headed, puny, poltroonish boy such as Peter Pan, is that a mature man can overcome his obsessions, whereas the boy here remains governed by them forever. Scree! I, I, I can assure me that my invitations are being well received. Oh, I 
Captain. Oh, I'm sure they are, to be sure. Isn't it Robert Mullins and, and Gentleman Starkey themselves delivering them? By the authority of Her Britannic Majesty, vested in me, Captain James Algernon Cloudsley Hook, Neverland is formally annexed to the British Empire. Strike a line, mate. I won't stand for that. Why do you think I left Australia in the first place? Give Neverland free, I say. Which fact will be celebrated by a grand masked ball to be held aboard the Jolly Roger as the sun sets below the yard arm. Attendance is mandatory. That means be there or else. More human being come to never let the all of what to do. I say, you troll. I'll be keeping my eye open for you. Eat pigs here, sailor boy. Don't say I didn't warn you, old boy. I wish I knew what happened to me, Rapier. A gentleman should never subject his lug holes to the cutting explosion. Quite ruins his musical appreciation of the minuet, don't you know? Come on. We still gotta deliver the captain's invitation to the Indian village. Oh, Captain Hook's quite serious, Peter. I swear by the Jolly Roger only this morning. The whole ship's been set up like a dog's dinner, and the pirates have been practicing minuets and quadrilles for hours. He'll never take Neverland away from me. And besides, how dare he not invite me to the ball? I believe he's quite forgotten me. Forgotten me? That's not possible. I suppose you could always see for yourself. We'll do more than see for ourselves. We'll make sure that rotten pirate never forgets us again. God, Grimscombe, what a travesty. Salim, Mason, onto the floor. You know what they say? Practice makes perfect. Practice with me, lady, and I'll split you perfectly down the middle. Shiver me, Robert Mullins. I'd rather dance the polka with a pick of warpers than prance around in your arms. You go on a cruising ignoramus, Mullins. There's nothing unmanly about dancing. The gentleman Starkey quite right, boys. The Greek philosopher say only a man at peace with himself can dance the quadrille. Poison on a man's vitals is one thing, but poison on a man's mind is a hanging offense. Button your gob boxes, you lame shank salt horse squires, and jump! I can't believe it, but it's true. What are we going to do? We'll date Crash Hook's party and turn it into a wake. Quite so. 
It's me! Hey, oi, oi, Captain! I, Captain James Hook, late of Her Britannic Majesty's Navy, do annex Neverland in the name of the Crown and declare myself Imperial Ward High Chief Highness Signora You will never rule this island, Captain. This is the land of my fathers, and I hold it in trust for my children, who in turn will pass it on to their children. You cannot take it away from us. I believe Long Tom will tell you different, my dear chap. Move an inch, great big little panther, and I will blow everyone in Neverland into Wonderland. Have no fear. I will rule this island entirely in your best interest. And by what right do you claim to rule Neverland, Captain Codfish? Peter Pear! I might have expected this. Another queer isle prank. Well, this is my right. Now, if everyone has had his, her, or its say, we shall proceed with the ceremony. As I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, I, Captain James Hook, late of Her Britannic Majesty's Navy, do annex Neverland in the name of the crime, and declare myself Imperial War High Chief Highness Spot Blackness. I say, that froggy fencing coat might be a thing. Hmm? The French thief stole him a sword. Who are you? I am the Comte de Chauvin, friend of liberty. Equality and justice. Ye dogs, another Frenchie. Eh bien, Monsieur Le Gaulois, I bid you adieu. Yeah. I told you you should have kept your dagger. Dancing alone does not wear a dagger. Well, we have to do something. Chauvet will last exactly two seconds against Hawk. <laughs> Your time has come, monsieur. I trust you have made your confession. Wendy! She beat me! She cheated! She tricked me! How could she? Well, no matter. This masquerade ends now! Musketeer of them all. 